all. Welcome to Simple Learn. Today we are going to cover algebra. So what is algebra? A form of generalized arithmetic. We have a generalized formula or a method of calculating by means of variable. Otherwise we will be calculating something with variables. So we will see what are these. Let's look at this area. Area of a rectangle. A is equal to length into breadth. This is a generalized arithmetic. Instead of this if we say 4 is equal to 2 into 2 that's not generalized. A equal to L into B is a generalized. Why we call it as generalized? Because the value of A change with respect to L and B. If I change L or if I change B, value of A is going to change. That's why we call generalized arithmetic. Let's look at perimeter of rectangle. 2 into length plus breadth. If I have length is equal to 1, the perimeter of this rectangle is going to be a value and if I have L is equal to 2, that value is going to change. So, if I have different values for this L or different value for this B, perimeter is going to change. Similarly, here the area is going to change with respect to L and B. Okay. So, let's take this 2 into length plus breadth. What is 2? 2 is not going to change. 2 is 2. 2 we call it as constants. Something which does not change the value. We cannot change the value of 2. So they are called constants. What are variables? Here we said it's a generalized arithmetic which we calculate by means of variable. So what are they? Here A is going to change. L or B is going to change. So the things which change the value are called variables. Here A is a variable, L is a variable, B is a variable. Look at this formula. Here 2 I said already it's a constant. L is a variable, B is a variable. So how do this change? Let's look at this. Area equal to length into breadth. So, if I have L is equal to 2 and B equal to 3, what is A? 3 into 2, which is equal to 6. So, A is dependent on L and B. Now, let's take L is equal to 3. I just changed the number of L, right? The value of L I changed from 2 to 3. What should be the answer? Here, I should be getting 9. So, depends upon this variable value, the final value is going to change. So, we call this as generalized arithmetic. So, you understood the concept of constants and variables. Constants are nothing which does not change the value. Variables are Something which keep changing the value. So, these two are important when we learn algebra. Now, let's look at algebraic expression and algebraic statement. So, what are algebraic expression? Variables and constant terms connected with symbols. So, we will have constants. We have variables which we are going to connect with certain symbols. X is a variable. 2 is a constant. I am going to connect this with symbol. Plus. X plus 2. This is called algebraic expression. You can write different algebraic expression. 2y plus z. 3a minus b. So, 
in this, 3 is a constant. A and B are variables connected with a symbol minus. Here, 2 is a constant. Y and Z are variables connected with a symbol of addition plus. Here, X is a variable. 2 is a constant connected with a symbol addition. Now, let's look at algebraic statement. What are they? We know x plus 2. Here, x plus 2 is an algebraic expression. If I connect this algebraic expression with an equal sign, that is called algebraic statement. Okay? Algebraic statement contains this equal sign. So, here we have written 2y plus z. 2y plus z equal to 10. This is called algebraic statement. So the algebraic statement are also called algebraic equation. Okay. Algebraic equation. So why is it called equation? We have an equal sign here. The algebraic statement is Algebraic equation consists of equal sign, variables, constant. You can have only variables x plus y equal to z. This is also algebraic statement. So this is the difference between algebraic expression and algebraic statement. Now let's look at the symbols which is used in the algebraic expressions and statements. Equal, not equal. Greater than, greater than or equal, less than, less than or equal. So with these symbols, we write algebraic expressions or algebraic statements. So I already told statements use this equal or not equal. So expressions and statement use these symbols. We have a term called term in this. What is that? Part of algebraic expression separated by symbols. 2x plus 13 is an algebraic expression. So in this, what is term? 2x and 13 are terms. So part of algebraic expression. It's a part of algebraic expression. 2x and 13 are part of algebraic expression. Separated by a symbol. We have an addition symbol here. 2x is a term. 13 is a term. Similarly, 3x square minus y. 3x square is a term. y is a term. So in this, we have constant term and variable term. If we take 2x plus 13, which is a constant term? Constant term is a constant which does not change the value. Here 13 will not change the value. So 13 is a constant term. In 2x, depends upon x value, this is going to change. This is going to vary. So that is variable term. 2x is a variable term. Here, 3x square minus y. y is a variable term. Here, 3x square is also a variable term because depends upon x, this value is going to change. Another example, 2 plus xy. xy is a variable term. I can change the value of x and y according to my wish. So, this is a variable term. 2 is a constant term. So, this is term. I hope you understood all these concepts. We will come with another topic in the upcoming videos. Please watch. Thank you.